little duck family moving through the water another little duck family oh get back up with mom and the owl is meant to scare birds off the dock <laughs> the lone sentry owl it's a lonely job <laughs> a beautiful morning man so yeah uh, good morning this isn't a wake and bake I'm already at work but I'm waiting for everybody to show up so yeah beautiful fucking uh, background huh I gotta get another shot of that just just too beautiful to pass So I'm going to go back around the front of the house proper and wait for uh, folks to show up. I finished sanding the beams that we're setting next. Now I'm working on the um, place that we're setting them. <laughs> Getting it ready to place the beam. So that'll be quite a thing. I'll try and make sure I film it well. So we can see that. So I'm just hanging out, waiting. So I'll get back to you. Hang on. So cheers. Good morning. We got down to 36 last night, which isn't cold if you're in a cold area. And it's gonna get up to 70 today, which isn't hot if you're in a hotter area. But it's pretty good spread, 35 degree spread. Uh, <coughs> Nights are getting cold. Or we're gonna make a last last look and make sure we're winterized well. You know, antifreeze check. Um, you know, what other chores? I don't know. Fucking check your, make sure your pilot lights are lit and every single fire up. And, Make sure you're fucking, you know, you got extra fuses. Make sure you got shit for power outages. You know, make sure you got emergency fucking supplies. If you don't have an emergency kit, put one together. I need to do the same. I have one, but it's not in a concise area, so I can grab it and leave. I don't have one for my car. So, yeah, not cool. So, we need to do all that shit. Um, make up some emergency packs. Um, I don't know why it's on my mind. It just came up. So yeah, you can see the area I'm working in is pretty fucking amazing, man. I mean, the sky is pretty today. Look at that blue. Beautiful. I think my boss is probably around the corner. Got that feeling. Okay, here comes the, really the, the big part of this job is to take this wall out. This wall right in front of us, these studs. Take this wall out and put that beam in place and those posts be post up here let's not get confused come in the front door that wall you'll be able to walk right through here this wall will no longer be here you walk right through this window will be a door you'll walk right through this to your deck so my job right now having temporary this side. First of all, here, let me give you an idea how this roof sits. We're changing the bones of it. These joists sit on this wall over here, right? And they sit on this wall. And then you see how they're sistered together right here. How these are connected right here. These joists 
right on this wall out here and on this wall. I've got it temporary up here, see, carrying the joist that I'm going to cut. I have it temporary on this side as well. So this wall is really no longer necessary, right? It's, no, it's obsolete because it's holding up there. It's got my two points on either side, here and there, and there in the outside wall. So here is no longer a bearing point, so I can pull this wall out. So that's what I'm going to do. You want to make sure you're absolutely ready to do that. See, that could use a little more tension. show you more when we go to set the beam so let's take a look at how it looks coming into the doorway now oops sorry, I got bad light right there now see walk right through the house what about that what about that pretty amazing so yeah it's, for me it was awesome it was fun <laughs> cool I can't wait to set the beam, man. We'll see how that rolls. Talk to you a bit. Bye. So it's looking way different. So I've got these joists cut back on one side. That's where this beam's gonna sit. Believe me, there's nothing stranger than cutting out supporting walls and sticking beams in pre-existing framing. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, it's like working with the guy who worked on it 50 years ago, even though we've never met. But what I'm doing is, see I'll cut back this side now, and that beam will slip right up in there. You'll see. It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. You'll see, it'll be awesome. <laughs> All right, let's cut these out. Oh, I'll cut it out.
Really, really liking the way this turned out, man. It's it's just it's always a feat of engineering. How are you gonna put a beam in an existing ceiling? It's just it's just never as straightforward as it seems. You have to think about how the heck am I gonna get this up there, man, without calling everybody in to help me get it in place and then have it be all wrong. Don't want that happening.